let's get into the show. Uh, first of all, you know, TLC, Tables, Ladders, and Chairs, is this weekend, you know, the one we look forward to after Dece- every December when we said, oh, hey, there's one more pay-per-view in December for Royal Rumble. And it's that one with all the hardware. And we're setting up for it. And I know, Mad Mike, you, you expressed your excitement for TLC uh, this year. I did, Sork. Um, it, it honestly surprised me as much as it surprises most people, I think. Uh, I was watching Raw last night, and I didn't really get spoiled on anything that happened. Mm-hmm. And like the opening segment just kind of hooked me. Like, I, it was different, not too different, but it was different than what we've normally been seeing. And, like, we're getting a triple threat ladder match with New Day Usos and Luka, Lucha Dragons. That's going to be really fun. We're getting a four-way, a four-on-four elimination tables match. I mean, that's going to be super fun, too. Uh, Roman and Sheamus may not be who we want to see in the WWE title match, but that's going to be a damn good match. Mm -hmm. They're going to work their asses off. Yeah. And I'm intrigued by what the hell they're doing with Paige and Charlotte, because for me, it seems like it's like kind of the first time they're doing heel versus heel for a diva title, which I'm okay with. I mean, it's, it's very intriguing. Like for something that has not had that good of a buildup, I'm really excited for the pay-per-view. I think it's going to be a lot of really fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, it, it makes sense if you're going to bring back all these uh, ECW guys for anything. TLC absolutely makes sense. It's it's right up the, their alley. Um, and and again, kind of, uh, I don't think it's too late to go to that. Well, we haven't done it for a while. We haven't seen Dudley's for a while, so it's all it kind of makes us a little bit new, doesn't it? Unless you're a fan of TNA, then yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you're like, <laughs> right. Right. Um, also, I want to give a shout um, to former IWC champions uh, from this year, International Wrestling Cartel, uh, Rhino and Tommy Dreamer, who had a uh, cage match both in Meadville and in, in, back in April at Night of the Superstars and uh, Cage Fury, available on IndieWrestling.us. Um, but uh, no, I, no, that was really cool. Um, it, it, we were excited to see them, him in Pittsburgh and even see Rhino come out. Uh, new Beard Rhino, by the way. I, I just, I, are we signaling a Wyatt turn? I'd, I, I'd be down with uh, Rhino and the Wyatt family, to be quite honest. Ooh, yeah. Hmm? Rhino Wyatt? Rhino Wyatt. That's right. I don't know. If, I don't know if that works. He's like a big, violent, bearded Pokemon. <laughs> Bray's like, Rhino, I choose you. <sighs> Rhino uses spear. It's not very effective. <laughs> Rhino uh, has mega evolved. He used gore. It's super effective. Um, no, I'm looking for. I'm for, looking forward to that. I mean, are you? So, are you kind of over your your kind of Wyatt's issue at this point, or or like, or or, or are we kind of putting that aside for how this is kind of building up? I mean, they need to win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 they don't need to win. Uh, they mm. they need to win. Something. No, and, they, no listen. They, 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 they are slotting into that cane hole perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Kane doesn't just, win anything. But see, it, it's different if it's just one guy not winning. Mm-hmm. If it's four guys not winning, but to be like, fair, they they've won some matches here in the last week. So it's also it's also different with Kane because within like the first year or so he won the WWE title. Uh-huh. You know, he he was involved in all these major things and to be fair, he was a pretty fairly dominant monster throughout all of it. I don't know when it all went went south, but I mean at least from the beginning and then you have Wyatt who started out, you know, real you know, real strong in terms of like his of, you know, kind of hit these this whole face of fear thing. And then he lost to John Cena. And he's been losing ever since. I don't know. It's it's it feels weird to me. It feels a little disjointed at times. Mm-hmm. It's difficult to take him seriously as a threat, but I think this is like a perfect scenario because Dreamer, Rhino, and the Dudleys have nothing to gain from winning this match. They have absolutely nothing to gain. Dreamer and Rhino are just there on loners, and the Dudleys are probably not staying much longer either they're probably staying to get another wrestlemania paycheck and then get out 
But why not? Yeah. You know, I mean, why not? Why not cash in? You know, I think that's another thing to kind of bring a little bit of nostalgia. And, and WWE is high on this nostalgia right now. Yeah, we haven't touched I, on that for I a while. I kind of feel like, sorry, I kind of feel like Dreamer or Rhino is there because Little Spike Dudley probably either wasn't contacted to do this or probably didn't want to do it. Well, I mean, this is this is we're down to the reliable ECW guys. At this point, <laughs> let's be honest. I mean, True. because I, I so there was some some uh, 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 Tommy Dreamer had some something out there that sounded like Sandman might be the guy coming in. I'm like, nah, no way, no way that guy's sober. Uh, or 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 somebody <laughs> maybe, like maybe for one night, maybe for one, maybe for one when night. But it's just one <laughs> of those like I, I, you know, there's a lot of um, fit factoring of is it worth of us to deal with X to bring this person back, right? And I mean, look are at. Are you saying? Are you saying we're not going to see New Jack? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Hey, uh, yeah, I mean, who Bill who Berger else is there? Could use a, a, a one night thing. I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, it just I, there's 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 the ones they like to work with. The ones that have been good to them. Obviously, Tom Dreamer Dreamers a guy that have been there for a while. Same with the Dudleys. Were were you know built up even bigger because of their time in WWE. Rhino was a good hand for a while. I mean, obviously, they brought him back for. NXT and that kind of put them in the purview to put them in in this in this match here. Uh, I, you know they're they're the old reliables. You know they're 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 the responsible kids that came out of that class and uh, <laughs> and WWE uses them when whenever they can and 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 they're the ones that aren't broken down too. They're ones that haven't been doing stupid stuff on the indies for several years and have had to have you know uh, 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 charities you know charity. Uh, 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 shows to to pay for their hospital bills, you know, um, yeah. I, and I think that speaks highly of them to WWE that they'll they'll, they'll yeah. come back. So I I think it also kind of speaks poorly of WWE's abil- inability to build two other guys they could have put the Dudleys with. Uh, yeah, because I mean, you, there are other tag teams that we could have used here, like the primetime players or. Or even just two other guys to go, but I think up with the I Wyatt's. think like, anything else would have would have felt like just a random pairing. And uh, I like this because it's like this is a unit, this is a brotherhood. I think the story is stronger because of it. And you get that, you say you get that that uh, other little bit. So I, I think it's yeah, pretty cool. I, and why? Yeah, I agree with that. And I was just thinking too. Like I, I have a lot of respect for uh, uh, Dreamer and, and Rhino being on there, and I especially have respect for. Uh, Dreamer doing himself and doing indie wrestling a favor by uh, promoting House of Hardcore. It yeah, all yeah. there. I, I, I made. The, I don't know if I said this last week on the show, but I feel like Tommy Dreamer was in Pittsburgh because it wasn't quite so far away uh, from where he's hanging out. And uh, he, he all they all they did was pay him a a, a, a plane ticket and uh, a, a allowing him to wear his uh, his his company shirt. To the ring you know but which is really cool of them i mean that, that's really awesome that they, they do let him do that you know it's like it's it's an indie promotion you know even though it's owned by tommy dreamer obviously it's an indie promotion you know I, actually let's look at it this way because i don't know if you guys realize rhino has also started a promotion up in detroit nothing big he's like running at a local vfw to kind of help them raise money and just have some nice you know good family shows with a bunch of local guys right um and, and he's obviously the big name on there so they'll draw you know half decent for it uh locally but um i mean you you're, you're talking about like like two guys that run wrestling promotions or are, are, are in this match represented on here um i, I don't know oh, of course so is, so is booker t i guess i guess we're kind of in a different phase where, where, where guys can do that you know and i think that's pretty cool i don't know rhino doesn't have a t-shirt for his fed yet but it's brand new but by the way, uh, speaking of TLC, uh, while we've been uh, kind of going here, um, um, holy crap! This uh, this cover art for their song uh, with the scissors in the tongue—it uh, was kind of throwing me off a little bit here uh, for, for <laughs> WWE. Just just saying, uh, the uh, Wicked Ones uh, by Dorothy. What really uh, is the theme for a TLC? I guess. Um, okay, going down the line, uh, de facto uh, Kevin Owens uh, replacer uh, 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 Alberto Del Rio is taking on uh, Swagger in a chair match. Um, I, I, I still, I still, I'm still pretty sure that was supposed to be Owens last week, right, guys? I mean, it seems to kind of make sense. It's a little awkward this way. Um, mm-hmm. uh, the, the, we, I, I read, I, I watched that right last last night, right? It was getting really tired. Zeb's gone, right? Did we just like did the Zeb just ride off in the sunset again? I think that's uh, the case. Yeah, I think I think, he, I think he's just gonna reunite with Swagger. Okay, all right, all right, fine. 
it's, it's, it's all right. Uh, and of course, uh, Mike, you, 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 you made mention about the, the, the ladies match. Um, after last week, I, I dove into, uh, a lot of that old stuff on WWE network. And there was something about the Miz TV with Charlotte and Paige that felt very Smoky Mountain to me. I don't know if you picked up on on that kind of vibe as well, Mike. <laughs> well, it, all right, not not really Smoky Mountain, but um, I did appreciate it. I I, I mm-hmm. like Charlotte as a heel. I think she works better as a heel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and especially a- especially with her dad, like right behind her, saying. Oh no, no! I know how this works. I've done this a whole bunch of times. Mm-hmm. Um, we need to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, but it still it still seems very heel versus heel to me. It's very weird. Right? I, I thought I thought we did a face turn on Paige uh, of a sort, um, or we just don't. I, I or or okay, both girls are motivated, right? So it's not like back in the day where uh, uh, bitches be bitches or however we said it before when uh, when it just seemed like girls were just all catty. And that's the only reason why any of them fought uh, in the Divas division. Um, I don't know. I, I want to see. Hopefully we get some page on on Smackdown so we can kind of see what the tone is because they can just be like, well, uh, Charlotte's the bigger bitch in the situation. So Paige is, you know, the de facto world cheer for her. You know, in the long run, everybody's going to cheer for who the hell they want to cheer for anyways in this case, right? Sorg, I, I think you're getting a weird SmackDown this week. Oh, really? Because they also uh, film Tribute to the Troops. Okay. So I don't know who's going to be on as SmackDown, long as they're I, filming Tribute to the Troops at the same time. As so. long as I don't see the creepy uh, Christmas Strowman that... Uh, Str- Strowman? 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 Strowman Claus is coming to town. I'm in Strowman, Cla- Strowman Claus. Yeah, as long as I don't see that on SmackDown, I'm okay with that. Oh, that... I can't wait for that kind of thing. <laughs> um, but I, I, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I think uh, I don't think this is a uh, model Rick Martel versus uh, Shawn Michaels of uh, uh, SummerSlam nine uh, kind of uh, uh, proportions. But um, I don't know. It, it is interesting. It actually adds a little bit more energy to it, doesn't it? I would say so. I mean. I wonder. I wanted to see Becky Lynch come out last night. Mm-hmm. I wanted to see where she stands on this whole thing. I, I mean, I guess that's going to be probably the reveal at the pay per view. But mm-hmm. like, I don't know. Is Becky Lynch the only face now in the Divas division? <laughs> I don't. I don't even know anymore. I think I'm supposed I feel to. Like it's hard to tell. I think I'm supposed to cheer for Team Bad, right? Like, I want to. I did, oh, but I'm just I want a huge so bad. Sword. But after that dance, all saved is great. After the, the the completely random, unless you follow social media, uh, uh, uniting of Team Bad and, and New Day, um, which I hope that just means they all come out together from now on, to be quite honest. Bad Day Rocks. Bad Day Rocks. Bad Day Rocks. Yeah. That, yeah. that gif is going to be my everything for all of 2016. Yeah, and that's that's you know, I mean that's that's beating the Wade Barrett dancing with the New Day thing from from the last pay per view, which I thought was just absolutely incredible. Um, but but I don't know. Um, uh, going down the line here, Kevin Owens, he's back from his sick leave, uh, taking on uh, Dean Ambrose. Uh, but the thing that happened last night, I'm I'm sad that we got you know I'm glad Kevin Owens got to go home and he got to you know get better. But I'm I'm sad that we missed uh, another week of whatever happened there. Because I, I I wish just Owens Ambrose have a long term plan so they can keep doing interesting things. I I'm surprised this doesn't have a stipulation on it. I think we're out of stipulations because there's no more furniture. More or less. I mean, we're already doing. I I, I always think this is kind of re- redundant when we do a TLC plus a ladder match plus a chair match plus the tables match wait are we doing a tables match well well they do call it tables ladders and chairs or they yeah. don't call it the WWE TLC that, 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 it, well, well actually well that, that depends on how you look at the logo I think uh, uh, no I'm, I'm going by what Michael Cole calls it Michael Cole what does he know um, but it is a tables match versus the uh, the, the Wyatts yeah. and, and ECW originals now here's the question is it is it EV 3.0 what? EV three point. No, no, no. One, nobody watched that to know what the hell you're talking about. Two, <laughs> no. And three, as Shane Douglas told me for the the nth time, Dixie Carter is a freaking moron. Ugh. 
<laughs> you can see. By the way, if you want to see that, uh, that I- promo is on RWA's uh, YouTube page right now. Um, uh, talk. And, and, and be, by the way, uh, you know, if you haven't heard the Shane Douglas uh, Dixie's a moron rant, um, watch that video, and it's the same speech he gave in the same promotion. I think uh, about three years ago. So, Sork, I'm good. I'm gonna need this video for the midweek war. If, so, okay. It, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, go get it. It's right. It's up there. I will. I will. I'll, I'll drop box it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, puts over RWA. Dixie sucks. Uh, um, but this guy in the ring, he's why we're not in the toilet. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, three point. By the way, if, if they're out of furniture, I mean, they could always make uh, Owens versus Am- versus Ambrose the doors match. I mean, there's <laughs> what? plenty of doors you can find in WWE. Yeah. So, no, if I you're going to have a hitting each other with doors, though, it's just Ray Manzarek playing an organ while they fight each other. It's going to be like a Scooby Doo chase. Where they're going to two doors and <laughs> first class uh, around, it'll be great. All right, first of all, if there's going to be a doors match in WWE. It needs to be between Bailey and Nia Jax. Secondly, if there was a Wait. doors match on a WWE pay per view and it doesn't have John Morrison in it, they've done it wrong. Uh, oh, uh, that's the one he was he was born for. I get it. I get it. Yeah, I don't like it, but I get it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Not the worst thing I've heard. <laughs> that's that's true. That's true. Um, but anyway, anything else uh, about a, a title match, a triple threat match uh, for the for the uh, uh, tag teams? Um, it's going to be awesome stuff from these teams. That match is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I, it, this is going to be one of those great like you know triple threats. Yeah, I, I think it's it's going to be good. Not quite as convoluted as we saw at uh, WrestleMania. Uh, for their ladder match, or wait, wait, am I confusing things? Like I feel like, wait, what, what, wait, did they have a triple threat match. What was it that they had at WrestleMania? Where uh, they had somewhere... like seven guys in it. Right, right. Where the Usos got hurt. Right. I'm not. Th- am oh I, am no, I... you're thinking of the uh, the um, Fatal Four Way. The right, the right, right. Exactly. You know. Uh, uh but uh, no, I think it's gonna be fun. We have uh, plenty of ta- talented teams. Uh, in that, and of course the title match, which I, I think they've done a really admirable job, admirable, admirable, admirable job. Um, Sheamus is, I want to say, as good as Seth Rollins, but uh, he's definitely kind of um, filled the shoes very, very nicely, as we talked about in the last, last couple of weeks on the show. It is a welcome pace not seeing the authority saying how we love our champion, but at the same time, we're not sure if we like our champion every week. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Um, uh, uh, LB, what are you uh, looking forward to on uh, uh, TLC here coming up? Uh, as as with most things nowadays, anything featuring the New Day. Mm-hmm. If, if, if the New Day are involved, I'm on board. That ladder match sounds like a, a treat. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm, I'm very much on board for that. And I'm morbidly curious uh, about uh, about Seamus and, uh, uh, you know, Father of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I don't Father of the Year. There will be a lot more discussion on Father of the Year here <laughs> coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks. Actually, next couple of months, I guess. I didn't know Seamus was wrestling Titus O'Neil. That's awesome. <laughs> That's right. That's going to be a slammy. <laughs> oh, oh wait is it really weeks. is it gonna be a slammy i'm gonna be pissed if it's a slammy because we, we're slammies are in two weeks we're actually considering is it in two weeks i thought it was next week uh because we're actually considering father of the year as a uh mayhem award fine we'll beat him to the punch mm-hmm. we're doing mayhem no we won't because we'll be recording it in for january <laughs> uh, well we just need someone to leak it to reddit oh uh, well no i already got hey, banned man. by reddit <laughs> He's the most technologically aware of it all of us. On a side note, if any fans are there out, out on Reddit, um, um, we could, we need an agent of WMS on Reddit <laughs> to help us out. Because we, hey, they don't like mm. self promotion. But if you just happen to like our stuff, that'll pre- <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure out Reddit. Um, but anyways, I just know if we put something on there and it can explode. I saw we saw some cool stuff off of there. Um, yeah, here's how did a, a concussion addicted dreamer pass the physical and not Daniel Bryan from Garza? I'm telling you, it, it, Dreamer didn't even take the protocol. <laughs> he, he just wants to promote House of Hardcore and he doesn't care if he gets beamed in the brain doing well, it. It's not it's about not him. a concussion, it's a traumatic ocular headache or whatever. 
<laughs> uh, side note, uh, the the uh, promo in question is linked in the chat room, uh, Mike. Uh, so if you want to snag oh, that for geez. later. Um, <laughs> Seamus is go- as good as Rollins. I'm dead. What? No, honestly, I think he is. As good as Rollins? Yeah. Oh, honey, no. Mm. <laughs> no, not in the ring, but on the promo wise. I'm talking about the. No, I'm talking promo wise. Yeah, not in yeah. the ring. Obviously, mm. Rollins is better in the ring. Mm. But Sheamus doesn't have bad matches. Mm. Mm. No. Unless he's wrestling Randy Orton. Sheamus <laughs> remembers his line. That's good enough for me. Yeah. Uh, Alex, anything uh, before we move on here? Anything uh, you're excited about in particular for TLC? Um, other than them renaming it uh, back to Armageddon. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm actually very excited for the card because uh, I like I I feel like people give a, WWE a lot of flack for these uh, you know these stipulation team pay per views, mm-hmm. but I've always kind of liked how they do book towards the uh, the different kinds of matches. Like you've got your ladder match, you've got your tables match. Uh, apparently, you've got your chairs match. Uh, we may or may not have our stairs match, but. Uh, the important thing is we're getting we're they're at least doing some effort to book towards these different stipulations, even though usually you'd see it being kind of almost the other way around, where it builds towards something to blow the feud off. At least we got something. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to the card as a whole, basically. Good, good. Yeah, we'll see how that that pans out. Well, guys, if you want to check out uh, some uh, pro wrestling. And that you know, maybe you're tired of the stipulation, maybe whatever the case may be. And we want to try something different. Try indie wrestling.us. We got a lot of cool stuff over there, including hey, two guys are going to be in the pay per view a cage match from back in August at Cage Fury 2015 between Rhino and Tommy Dreamer. Uh, great stuff. They were great guys to, to work with in the IWC. Uh, or this past weekend, Seasons Beatings, uh, uh, Shane Douglas uh, was a part of that show. A a match of the year candidate. There was chanting match of the year before the match was even.